Apparently the weather in this uh, short is uh, partly cloudy with a uh, chance of uh, violent animals. <laughs> yeah. But a heartfelt moment at the end. Indeed. So uh, partly cloudy is about a cloud who is uh, pretty much a very dark cloud in more ways than one. So um, and he has this uh, very faithful stork who happily brings uh, you know his baby animals off to uh, you know expectant. Uh, Mothers and fathers, animals. So, um, unfortunately, this uh, particular cloud, while other clouds are making very nice uh, animals and they're very, you know, very cute animals, this guy is basically making porcupines, rams, crocodiles, um, you know, electric eels, you know, various other dangerous types of animals at the moment. So, and uh, eventually, you know, while the stalk is... Uh, you know, being very nice with him and everything like that, he unfortunately has to kind of fly away to uh, see another cloud uh, about uh, getting some, you know, and uh, the cloud thinks that, you know, the uh, the stalk has abandoned him and he gets very angry and upset and uh, basically just goes through like all the seven stages at this point. So, but then the stalk returns with the uh, safety gear uh, from the other cloud and uh, basically it is uh, a nice uh, message like saying, you know, where friends will always stick with each other, you know, no matter what. So. That's very true, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is the short that came with Up. And even though last time we did talk about how, um, even though that Presto and uh, Wally were able to complement each other in the opposite way, in which when uh, you know Presto was fast-paced and funny and Wally was calm and serene, uh, this kind of complements Up in a way in which they're both uh, heavily focused on the sky and clouds. Uh, you know, with... Um, uh, partly cloudy about clouds and up is about uh, Mr. Fredrickson getting a whole bunch of balloons and going up into the air so that he could be able to go to Paradise Falls. So uh, as we mentioned in the up episode on Pix Mix, uh, the writer and director of this short, uh, Peter Sohn, was heavily influenced by Dumbo when creating uh, Partly Cloudy, uh, especially with the scene in which when the stork delivers Mrs. Jumbo Dumbo. And so I guess you can kind of make uh, an assumption on, oh, this is where it comes from with the influences, because it definitely kind of feels Dumbo-esque with how, uh, you know, calm and, um, you know, serene it is. And then it, it's uh, when you see like the cute little animal and when you see kind of like um, the uh, peaks and rises of the emotions, I, I, get, I can definitely uh, see where the influences come from. Mm hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, I prefer this method of uh, how, uh, you know, uh, young, um, you know, uh, babies are made compared to, you know, uh, what we got with, uh, you know, uh, that movie from Dream Machine, you know. Oh, no. You know the one I'm talking about. But anyway, well, we are not going to mention that here. But, uh, I mean, going back to the uh, short, you know, I like how fluffy the clouds are and everything. Like, they actually they actually feel like they actually are made of cloud. You know, when, mm -hmm. when you look at it, which I think is really good. And, uh, you know, there's part of me that believes also that the stalks, you know, the way that, you know, the feathers are on and everything like that. I feel like uh, there was some inspiration taken from the other shot for the birds as well. Like, uh, I think, uh, yeah, you definitely see some of that also involved in there too. And uh, also, I like how, you know, the, uh, the the nice open sky as well. Like, it just, it just, it just feel like, you know, you're up in the air and uh, you're just kind of like floating around with like, uh, you know, these characters, uh, you know, around you. So it's like it's a it's great it's a great world to uh, obviously be uh, getting invested in for five minutes. So yeah, and also it, it's kind of like that one person who's in a position where he kind of has to do the things that nobody wants to do, or they do it, but then there's other parts of the company that they kind of have to forcefully do it. It's like you know everybody else gets to do the fun part of the job and then the one person has to like crunch in the numbers and keep the company afloat they're all important it's just that sometimes it can be kind of a hassle but they're necessary i mean you know without the um, the darker cloud we wouldn't get car uh, creatures like porcupines or sharks or eels i mean sure they may seem pretty dangerous and maybe they're not as uh, fun to collect and to dr distribute such as kittens and puppies but they're needed nonetheless. Yeah. But it makes me feel like, I don't know, like, you're kind of more like it was, it's the only ones he could basically produce. Like, you know, like, uh, he's he's different from, like, all the other clouds. He can't, like, produce, like, uh, the stuff that uh, everyone else does. And so, like, he can only do what he knows how to do, you know. And so, and, uh, the, you know, the stork I like to think is probably, like, you know, his, his best friend who will stick by him no matter what. You know? Exactly, yeah. So. And, and it's actually a really interesting metaphor about, like, I'm sure that the um, Darker Cloud would love to do things like puppies and kittens, but yeah, that's not what he was made to do. He was made to do other things. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that was, um, um, uh, you know, very, very good shot. 
I would have thought, you know, like uh, it's uh, pretty much uh, nailed the story, nailed the uh, the, uh, the the presentation, and uh, also uh, the music also was nice to go along with as well. So I, I thought it was a very nice short and uh, definitely a nice way to compliment up, but in a different way than how Presto complimented Wally. Mm-hmm. All right, people, um, we are going to go into the next one, so we'll see you then. Yeah.